Welcome to Arsenal Online. Here you'll find the latest stories and news about Arsenal. Welcome back, fellow Gunners across the world. Arsenal make Martin Odegaard captain. It seems like Alexandra Lacazette has 16 matches left in his Arsenal career. It will be the end of a mixed era and also the end of him wearing the captain's armband. He's represented Arsenal well and not many will say otherwise. He's been a loyal player and although not scoring goals currently, he is the leader the young lads at Arsenal need. He's demonstrated this again against Wolves as he battled for every ball with every action designed to benefit the team above all else. Off the pitch, he is well-spoken, professional. Behind the scenes, there is not one player who has ever had a bad word to say about him. All we ever hear about Lacazette is how caring, committed and supportive he is. He's a perfect captain. If only he could get the ball in the net. Shame he's leaving, really. So, just who will replace him? There was some discussion over who should get the armband after the Aubameyang saga, but Mikel Arteta called it and made Lacazette skipper for the remainder of the season. Arsenal's focus needs to be on that top four finish in the Premier League. The captaincy is a bit of a poison chalice at Arsenal, so deciding who is going to get the job next season needs real consideration. Arsenal don't always choose the right man for the job. Something about that armband seems to distract the wearer. It's not had a great run of late. In letting Lacazette assume the responsibility, could this be Arteta's way of auditioning the rest of the team for the job next year? Well, if it is, then look no further than Martin Odegaard. He's experienced and reliable. Yes, he's still young, 23, but one of the best captains Arsenal ever had took the job at 21, Seth Fabregas. Odegaard has experienced a great deal as a player despite his young years. Every club on the planet chased his signature at 15 years old. He's had five consecutive seasons out on loan before making his new home at the Emirates where he has been simply magnificent. Not only that, he was named Norway captain just under a year ago in a side featuring one of the best players in Europe. That's got to count for something. So let's recap. He's been around the block. He's played for one of the biggest clubs in the world. He's been forced to mature at a young age. He leads his country and he's still only 23 years old. Let's add in some more evidence. He's a tactician and a natural leader. When the pandemic forced football to be played behind closed doors, it opened up the game in a whole new world to us watching at home. Who was leading and giving orders, even though he was a lone player? Yes, Odegaard. He was the tactical leader on the pitch, as much as he is the technical leader. He was leading even the likes of Ume Bemeyang, Nicolas Pepe and Lacazette in front of him, as well as Thomas Partey behind him. He was the one guiding and leading where his teammates should go, which action to take and when to push forward. He is undoubtedly a natural and a gifted leader. And now he is practically undroppable from the team. He just naturally leads by ability and by example. It's a natural process for the Norwegian. He has the trust of Arteta and his colleagues. When information needs relaying on the touchline, it's the number eight who is ushered over by Arteta to pass on tactical notes. And his exceptional technical level sees his teammates often look to him for invention. We have a tremendous player, Arteta said of him back in December. He is a natural leader. If you look for a perfect professional, he wouldn't be very far from that. Equally, Odegaard has earned the respect of the fans and that is so important. His loan period got mixed reviews, but now there is nobody who would not consider including him in their starting lineup 
and he's only going to get better. He's been phenomenal this season. The level he's found at the club is the best he's produced to date and there is no denying that he can and will continue to develop as a player. This whole team of youngsters, Gabriel Martinelli, Bukayo Saka, Emile Smith-Rowe, Sambi Lokonga, they push each other on and they all grow as players and he especially improves with each game he plays. Stability is also a key feature in picking the next skipper. Odegaard is one of the cornerstones in this new look Arsenal and it's likely to start, he is likely to start every time he's available for a healthy number of years. It's a no-brainer really. Odegaard has all the qualities needed for the job and this is a player destined for the very top, one who deserves to be leading his team out to play Premier and Champions League football. But what do you think? Leave a comment below to let us know and thank you for watching Arsenal Online. Subscribe and ring the bell for all the latest Arsenal news.